You know, this video is gonna go down in the genre of rants and utter bullshit. We meet again. So today I wanted to talk about why I hate phone calls. Specifically, phone calls from your home phone. When I'm home, I'm fine if you call me on my cell phone, like, it's easy, I always have this on me when I'm outside of the house. But the moment I go inside, I'd rather watch Netflix, go to sleep, eat food, other things. <laughs> and you know, it's kind of annoying to get this ringing through your head that just squawks at you throughout the whole house. And you know that if you don't pick it up, you're just gonna have to wait 20 more seconds before they call you again and again and again and again. So here are some reasons of why I hate phone calls at your house. Number one, the sound. On an Apple iPhone 6S, you have around 24 different options of a sound to choose from. On a home phone that you don't even know the brand of, you get one sound. And it's just like a rooster wakes you up out of nowhere and just constantly s screams at you. Number two, the caller. Nine out of 10 times, the calls I get when I'm home are just advertisements because my parents are idiots and they sign up for everything so they have around 80 subscriptions and around 10 phone calls a day. I've gotten phone calls about abortion, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, anything about politics, stuff for a new credit card, car advertisements, I can name them all. And this is a list of how many I give. Page two and page three. See? I'm a 15 year old boy who watches YouTube and Netflix. I don't care about abortion at this moment. And we're not even gonna talk about abortion because triggered comments. <laughs> Number three, when your parents call you. They know I have my cell phone. By the way, this is a pop socket. Yet they choose to ring the home phone, which I've repeatedly told them not to do because I don't like getting out of bed. That's the last thing I wanna do. And when they call me, this is where I hold my phone. Notice the length I'm holding it from. That's because when Asian people grow old, they project their voice like a banshee. So this is talking to my dad normally. And that's talking to him on speaker. Oh my god, if I actually broke my phone for a YouTube video... Oh, we're good. We're good. The risks I do for YouTube, man. Um, I don't know what number I'm on, but... Number four, getting out of bed. Teenagers out of anyone know how easy it is to get into bed, but how, like, frustrating, torturing, and just mind-boggling, energy-consuming it is to get out of bed. Especially when you just wake up. Because usually when I go home, I go to sleep. And then I get this phone call that sounds a lot like my alarm that wakes me up. And knowing me, I have to get it because I have this fear inside of my brain that like it's usually gonna be something about my parents dying or someone died in the family. So I always rush towards that phone. I don't know, someone look up the fear of like getting a call that your parents died. I don't know, if, that, if that's a thing, it's a thing. Number five, I'm really awkward when talking to actual people. Introverts know this a lot. They hate talking on the phone. It's like a scientific fact. Parents, it's fine because we're usually arguing or it's like a two second phone call where it's like, are you okay? Yep, okay, bye. But when you get that one phone call that's actually not a robot talking to you and it's like an actual person that you need to talk to, like maybe you're returning something you bought from American Eagle because you bought a size too big for your waist. Speaking from personal experience. But it's really awkward, okay? I don't know what to say first. Should I say how your day's been? I'm pretty sure it's frustrating for them because they get around like 200 calls a day probably. Or when you're ordering pizza and you know, you have to order the pizza without trying to mess it up because you don't want to mess it up. By the way, if you can hear this in the background, that's the pop socket. It's a really good stress toy. Or how about when you get that one prank call that just annoys you so much? Sometimes I know when it's a prank call and I would just answer and then end the call instantly, like not even a second long. Which I know is really rude to do because it's an actual person, but I don't have time for people. If I don't recognize the number, answer and call very quick and then you go back to bed and then you block the number and never call them again and they don't call you ever again. Also I have a question, why do people know my number so much? I look at my recents and there's a lot of like numbers that aren't in this area or Charleston which I used to live in. I have a lot of questions about that. Wow, I'm just looking through my history and this is kind of sad. <laughs> I will say though an advantage of like calling someone and another person's in your house Usually you get to go into the conference calls where it's like they think you're gone But you're just in the background and like you're breathing really quietly and hearing what they're talking about and eavesdropping But the breathing thing can work against you because you always get those phone calls. That's like <sighs> You know, you just know you're gonna die at least I do anyone search up the fear of death after getting a phone call of only breathing 
tell me what it is in the comments, please. So those are why I hate phone calls. And that's about it. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or better yet, subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. Also, you might see that little bell next to my name. Go on and click it because guess what? That means you get notified every single time I make a video, which isn't that exciting, probably. All right, I love you guys, and everything is less than three.